Hey guys, welcome back. Craig from Critical Classic here. I have in front of me my 88 Roller 302. More about this video in a video somewhere up here if you guys want to look at that. I uh, built this over some years, roughly a stock block. Anyway, I have roller rockers on here, uh, some older ones that I got from a member, and I'm deciding to not go with these. I'm going to use them as a backup or maybe for another engine, so I'm going to remove these and install some new. 1.7. Hey, real quick, for those of you just clicking on this video for information before you install your pedestal mounts, uh, it's 1.6 ratio is the stock ratio for, I believe, any Windsor motor 1.7 if you're running stock stroke or stock heads. Uh, if you know your valve to piston clearance, it is 24 to 25 foot pounds of torque. If you go beyond a full circle turn after hand tight, recommend doing shims, but technically, roller rockers are a non-adjustable kind of setup. Um, but uh, there's some information for you guys. Continue on with the video, hope you guys enjoy it. But just for those of you that need just a little bit of information, there you go. 1.7 ratio full roller rockers. These are pedestal mounts. So I'm also gonna show you guys how to install pedestal mounts. As I noticed there isn't any really like true information out there. Um, because a lot of us are used to stud mount and there's a lot of things that you have to do with stud mount. These are a lot simpler in that way. So. Here's the tools that you guys are gonna need. Recommended hex head key, also your torque wrench set to 25 foot-pounds, as well as a hex tip right here. Most of these that I've dealt with, the pedestal mounts, are about six millimeter or 5.5 millimeter, and uh, that's what I'll be using today to remove these. It's a pretty simple thing. I'll, uh, I'll get into it showing you how to do it. These current roller rockers and the roller rockers I'll be using on there are sitting on a sitting on GT40P heads. Uh, this is the same thing goes for GT heads. I think any Windsor motor. All right, I'm gonna remove these and prep for the new roller rockers. Quick note, when you're purchasing pedestal mount roller rockers or rockers of any kind, recommend getting these. They are rocker, rocker channels. Uh, you can purchase these pretty cheap. The reason you do this, and you guys have probably seen this in other videos, is that over time they somewhat stretch. And even though like you can't tell, it doesn't feel loose in your hands. I mean, they're, they, they stretch only a little bit. So I recommend getting a new set of these. They're pretty cheap to do. You can find them on Alex Parts or, or multiple different places. So just recommended. At this point, I would definitely go and uh, I, I use assembly lube to do this. Assembly lube on each of these lifters just to make sure that everything's really well lubed, especially, I mean, maybe it's not a big deal if you're doing this in your engine, it's already well oiled and everything, but just a, just a good thing to do. So just a little bit about these roller rockers. Again, they're pedestal mount roller rockers. Uh, they are 1.7 ratio. The average for these engines is 1.6. Went a little higher, you can find it on the video that I made. Uh, talking about this engine. They look just like the ones that I pulled. Uh, I'll put up the brand name here and the part number. These are commonly referred to as non-adjustable or self-adjusting. From here I'll show you the first installation of what you do installing these on your 5.0. And you guys can watch what I'm doing and I'll try to explain what I'm doing along the way. You guys will see when you get your roller rockers that they, you want that there's a flat end inside here as well as a rounded end in this pivot here. You want the flat end to go up. From there you put your poly lock stud or whatever you want to call it, bolt. From there you will have this, I just call this like the mount pivot. And you'll see that divot right there. Obviously that goes on the bottom end. From there you'll get your channel. What you're doing here is that you are lining up the channel like that. Pretty self-explanatory. And also make sure that as you install it, the push rod is lined up with the dimple on the back. It usually lines right up, but just in case. 
you get them about just shy of hand tight and it's recommended it's just a good idea to install two at the same time just because you have that channel to line up I'll show you guys here so you have your valve stem and after you put your assembly lube on it you want to line that up as perfect as you can get so you guys can see there so like that one's off for example and that one pretty true to straight on I'm gonna go ahead and eyeball it without the camera before I tighten it down. Once you make sure it's aligned, tighten it finger tight. I like to tighten it where you kind of feel the load off of the spring. And then you repeat on the other side. From there you just install the rest, but you're not torquing them quite yet. For time purposes, as I am not 100% ready to put these on fully, I'm just gonna go ahead and torque these two down. I have some extra poly lock bolts just to kind of show you. And basically you're gonna repeat on all four. Again, set your torque wrench to 25 PSI. I like to go in stages just in case something moves. Now obviously you try to start continuously in the same turn and if you've noticed that it takes like if you notice one takes less of a turn than the other uh, by a lot then you know that you might have to look into shimming it my rotor cap was in the way check to make sure that they haven't moved off of your valve stem There you have it. Your pedestal mount roller rockers are installed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say disclaimer and everything. Pedestal mount rockers, if you have a high lift cam, if you're a performance motor, um, they don't make aftermarket heads, I don't think anyway, that have pedestal mounts. So they're mainly for stock heads. You know, my lift's only about, we'll just say 500 on average. Um, which is why I did the 1.7 ratio check out the other video and So just remember that you know if you have a high lift cam probably should Go ahead and get everything done at a machine shop uh, and set up for studs Because then you can do then you with your studs you can buy kits that, that help keep your roller rocker staying on the valve I'd say if you're into racing, you already know that, but just a disclaimer. This is just gonna be a fun little motor. I want it to be full roller, less resistance. Real quick, I wanna do a comparison of my old ones, which are, I don't know what name brand, and I'm gonna talk about these compared to the ones I have in regards to the roller. So if you notice, the old one, one right here, it's like a pressed pin. Small on one end, big on the other. As far as I can tell, it uh, looks like they just used a pin to sort of press in there and looks like that's it. And then this one right here is the same, if you can tell, but it looks like the pin, which by the way is better than a rivet, uh, is pressed to be spread out on each, each side. If you go really cheap, they use like kind of a rivet style and uh, that's pretty cheap and Looks like these are like kind of the mid-grade types. So I'm glad they're pins and not just some random rivet. And if you get, say, like Scorpion, uh, they, they do a better job of mounting these. This one is already a little, I mean, it's not, it's not pivoting up and down. It's pivoting side to side, so rolling on your valve stem. And this one has a little bit of pivot, and but not as much as this one. So granted, this one's been used and everything, and, and this one's new, so... A little more impressed with this Proform brand.
Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Hopefully this was informative. Appreciate you guys watching. Head on over to Ford F100 World. We also have social media groups that Craigco Classic manages. Steel Beauties, everything. And share your guys' knowledge, ask questions, learn, and uh, just have fun looking at classic car picks. Appreciate you guys watching. Peace.